Alright. What the f What? Why, hello, hello. Welcome on back to another thrilling episode of Ark Survival Descended. We've got something pretty fun to start out with today. We've got 12 RG eggs from this pair. And I went ahead and let them breed while I was uh, doing some other stuff in the background yesterday. And we need to get their stats combined because this one right here, the male, actually came out with a pretty decent melee compared to this one. But she, on the other hand, she's got way better health and uh, like almost a thousand weight off the bat. So we just let them breed up. Uh, we're not looking for mutations or anything right now. We just want to get one decent imprinted dino. Let's see. We got about two minutes. All right. So we got two minutes to show off this box. Uh, we did a bit of uh, hunting yesterday. Uh, looking for yellow drops. Uh, mostly yellow and purple drops. We got... We're probably going to stop grabbing greens and blues unless they're like just right next to us. Um, but we got some decent stuff that was already, we already had that though. Uh, we got a couple of BPs. We got a trike BP, which we'll probably not use. Uh, this BP we probably will use for the pike. Uh, the Bezel Buffo, we'll definitely use that one. Uh, and then we got some decent armor too. We got these hide boots. And these cloth gloves that are pretty good. Like, look at that. That's 8336 on the resists. And then this is 109 cold resist. It's pretty good. Um, Let's see. We got a Mosa saddle. We got a Mammoth saddle. Got a Lance. Don't know what I'm going to use that for. Uh, a bunch of this stuff we're going to just throw in the grinder. Um, let's see. We got uh, this box as well. So we got some electronics, some angler gel, all kinds of just random stuff. Uh, we got pieces of scuba. Uh, we got some uh, flak leg BP. Uh, got a little bit of poly. Oh, wait. I have a journeyman fur chest. Uh, yes, please. Oh, and then we got one more thing. Oh, yeah. I don't think I've shown off the inside of the house, have I? Uh, I did do a couple of additions here. Oh, like... Oh, oh my. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Claim them. Claim them before they fly away. <laughs> that was a mistake. Don't do 12 eggs at one time. Maybe spread them out. Okay. Look, we're just going to claim you guys, and then we'll move you, and then we'll get it. So we'll, we'll figure it out. I promise. It'll be fine. And that's a no. All right. So we got a male and a female, both of which have the entire stat pool together. That is perfect. That means the rest of those we can get rid of. And even if we don't get a full imprint on these two, we at least have a pair that can properly breed the stats together. So you two get to retire, basically. All right, so you are our base ones. So we're gonna go ahead and adopt the other RGs out, and then we'll be right back. Alrighty, so we're back and we have adopted out all of the other RGs. Uh, and in return, the uh, the new parents, they all gave us raw prime meat. Kind of weird that they did that, don't you think? But you know what? I'm not complaining. Uh, and I was going to go ahead and throw it into my jerky bin. But then I remembered that I don't have that. <laughs> I have a bunch of not jerky bins. I think. How do you, wait? Don't you make jerky in the preserving bin? Am I crazy? You do. Oh, you have to cook it first. That's what I've been messing up on. I forgot that you had to cook it. <laughs> and that you needed oil. Holy crap. I forgot a lot. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay. Well, now that we've got these growing up, I don't feel too bad about taking the bird out for a ride. Today we've got a pretty interesting goal that we want to accomplish here. It is time for us to get the kibble factory up and going. There's higher and bigger tames that we want to go after. Um, and we're going to be using kibble from now on. That's why I, that was the biggest reason why I wanted the RG was because there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that I need to collect, you know? And it's going to be a lot easier to just pick them up with the RG and bring them back 
instead of hello random titanosaur falling from the sky it's going to be easier to collect them with the with this than it would be any other way also can you pick up babies with this oh my goodness you can no way you can pick up baby trikes oh that's crazy wait a minute you know what we're gonna have to just we're gonna have to explore that a little bit later uh, right now let's go ahead and grab some dodos that is our plan for now we're gonna bring some dodos back to the base get them tamed up we're gonna be getting all of the small stuff that you need for a farm so we need we need our we need our egg layers for different tiers uh, we need our pheomias we're gonna need um, need to get an over raptor tamed up um hmm. What else do we need to get? It'll come to me. All right, Dodo is in the pen. Go ahead and go get, I'm pretty sure there was another Dodo down here. I'm almost positive there was. Uh, I believe we can pick up over Raptors too, right? Like that's something that we can do, I think. Um, let's come back down here. There are so many eggs down here. It leads me to believe that those dodos were mate boosted. Because these are dodo eggs, right? Okay. The bugs, man. Always with the bugs. Okay, what kind of eggs are these? Oh, these are iguanodon eggs. Hmm. Okay, so we got Iguanodon eggs, Patchy eggs. What level are these Iguanodons? Are these, are, are they in the, an Iguan? Can we pick up an Iguanodon? I don't think so. I think that's too big. That's okay. Um, Let's go check out. And see. If we've got a pair of Iguanodons just sitting here at the base, that'd be pretty cool. Okay. Why is everything aggro today? Can we chill? Can we chill, please? Goodness gracious. I can't even hit it. <laughs> okay. Female. Wait, a level five female. Uh, I'm sort of interested in that. Uh, Iguanodon, I can bully you, right, buddy? I can. Nice. All right. Easy. Level is this beaver. Okay. You're bad. All right. So we got a Dillo over here. Let's go ahead and deal with that. Um, and then let's go find the other iguanodons. I'm there had surely there was a male iguanodon over here, right? If not, I think we have a male iguanodon back at the house, the original house. Uh, getting him here is gonna be a pain, though. Uh, let's go ahead and knock this one out. Try to avoid that chalico over there. Oh, hey, I have a level up. Did not realize that. All right, I want it on. I need you to go to sleep. Come on, buddy. Go to sleep for me. Nice. Is there not a... Is there really no male I wanted on around here? If not, that's kind of wild. But there are just so many eggs from Iguanodons just on the floor. I wonder if it died. Uh, wait, is that it? Can't see. Female. No, that's another female. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess we're getting iguanodons. I do like iguanodons. They do have a use, so. If I can get a dino that's multi-purpose, I'm always down for it. 
Uh, we saw it does not take many shots to put these to sleep. Even with our basic rifle. Let's see. Trying not to get anywhere near that. Okay, it's asleep. Uh, we may want to kill that, that there, as you know. Um, I feel like it's going to become annoying at some point. It's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and just get some berries, uh, from the base and then we can come back down. Hopefully, I mean, we're only going to be at the base for like three seconds. Hopefully nothing pops over here and just hijacks our stuff. Um, that'd be a travesty if all of three of those female iguanodons die when I come up here. Uh-oh. No way. We got fi flying birds. Um, cuddle. Okay. Okay, so here's the test. Do we have to kill it to tame this or can we just knock it out? Looks like we have to actually tame it. All right. Uh, where is the beaver? Come here, Chucky. Let's go bite a bush. Just real quick. Oh, well, you didn't get much of anything there, sir. you have any berries on you? Ah, uh, you do. There we go. Well, that's perfect. All right, let's go ahead and just put like five in there, six in there. It won't take long here. All right, do not follow. Okay, can I tame you now? I can. There we go. Easy dodos. Interestingly enough, that was a female that spawned that. So it doesn't need to be, it does not need to be a female dino to have a baby spawn. That's interesting. I was not aware of that. All right, so let's pop down here. Uh, hopefully we haven't had anything spawn. All right, Iguanodon number one is looking good. Uh, you're gonna need... There. That's enough berries. Let's see. The second one was back here. Somewhere. Don't tell me I've lost an Iguanodon. Wait a minute. Was it like right here? Okay, there it is. Okay, how much are you getting from one berries? Uh, four. Okay. So if I leave you 34, that'll be enough. And then the last one was back here, I believe. Oh, it's right there. Very nice. Okay, let's go ahead and feed that one. Give it like 30, and that'll be good. You're kidding, right? Really? I knew I should have killed this dang on thing. Come on. Let's go, buddy. If we can hit you. Come out in the water. I need to slow you down a bit. You're a little bit more agile than I am. There we go. Are you running in the water? He's running in the river. I can't. You know what? We're just going to de-aggro. This is stupid. <laughs> I remember a long time ago playing with a mod that let you fly backwards when you were on a flying dino. Oh, I miss that right now. I really, really miss that. 
Okay, so the first Iguanodon is already tamed up. Can I pick you up? I don't think so. Holy crap, I can pick Iguanodons up? I was almost positive these were going to be way too big for that. Okay, yeah, RG is by far the most important tame on the map right now. Especially with no cryopods. Oh my goodness. Alright, Iguanodon number one. Safe and secured. Alrighty. Well, we've got a bit to go on the other Iguanodons because they were higher level. We will be back when they are both ready to go home. Okay, so I have a question. If I come over here and pick up this baby trike, and I just run away with it, right? We're gonna go all the, we're gonna go all the way back over here, right? Super, super far from the parent dino. Um, do we get to a point where we're far enough away that we can just imprint on it? Is that a thing? Ooh, it wanted on. Okay, so is it still, is it going to try to go back? It is. Okay, let's try to get, let's try to get it all the way out of render distance and then see what happens. So we're going to plot, we're going to plot fly really, really, really far. So that the mother is no longer in render. And then we're going to see if it, what happens. Because if this works... If this works, that's crazy. You just go out, you grab the babies with an RG, you take them back to your base, boom. Easy kibble farm. Minimal effort. All right, so we are definitely far enough away to consider that the mom out of render distance. So let's go ahead and drop the trike and see what happens. Uh, we still cannot imprint on it. Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. Well, that's too bad. Ooh. So here's the thing. We wanted Fiomias, right? We could just come yoink the babies. Let's try yoinking the babies. And then we'll kill the parent that they're attached to. And then we can just claim all three of the babies. Right? Right. We're going to throw them up here so that they don't get away. Uh, they may try to go back. This may be close enough. Yeah, it's close enough that they're trying to go back. Okay, if that's the case, hmm, can we pick up the parent? I don't know. We can find out though. I think it was this one. Yeah, it's this one. Okay, so if we pick this one up, do they try to follow it? Or how do that, how does that work? Okay, how about this? How about we knock the Fiomia out over here? Away from that alpha. And then we can just claim the babies. Right, right. Fiomia, I don't even know what you guys tame with. I don't remember. I think it's just 
berries, maybe? Um, I don't know. Hey. Here, I'll just give you the berries and we'll see what happens. And then let's go grab the baby Fiomias and bring those over here with the parent. Oh, there's one. Oh, we missed. There's one. Okay, there's a Spino now. That's not cool. Okay, and then the other Fiomia, the other baby Fiomia just came over here naturally. Um, and then where was, there was a third baby, the one that we took up originally. I wonder where that is. Let's see. I don't see it anywhere. Interesting. All right, well, we've got a bunch of stuff taming. We're just gonna sit and babysit for a bit. Holy crap. Oh man, I need to get a grinder ASAP. ASAP grinder needs to come online. Okay. Another one. Holy crap, that juke. Go away. I don't even want to kill you, just go away. Go away. Thank you. Good lord, man. Freaking raptors. All because this dang on bird isn't following me. Alright, well we got another over raptor. Let's give this a second try. Let's just try this a second time. It's fine. The first time didn't count. Wait, is this the same over raptor? Come here, buddy. There it goes. Really Delo. Why did you do that to yourself? I don't get it. Okay. Here. Have a Rex egg. Have three. And then while you're taming up, we can go ahead and grab the iguanodons and bring them home. Yoink. Uh, we still need a f male Iguanodon. We could just fly back to the base with the RG, the old base, and just pull the Iguanodon over here. You know, that could be a thing we do. Okay. All right, Iguanodon there. Oh, the Fiomi is done. I almost forgot about that. That means that the baby up here can be... Is the baby still up here? It was kind of just wandering around. Hmm. Eh, it's fine. There were two babies that were down there. Uh, hopefully the babies stayed near it. I don't know if they did. I probably should have kept a better eye on the Fiomia. To be fair. Uh, I do not see the babies. Um, that should be fine, to be honest. It shouldn't be too big a deal. Go ahead and bring the Fiomia home. We now have our own private poop factory. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> and drop you off right there and keep going up. Oh. RG wants something. What do you want, buddy? Cuddle? We can do that. All right, let's go grab another Iguanodon. Wait, where is the Iguanodon? Is it dead? Mother f This game, man. <laughs> All right, well, I missed the over after taming up because I was off looking for other stuff, but we did get it tamed up. So let's go ahead and bring them on back home. Beautiful. Alright. What the f- What? Wait a minute. What just happened? Bro. Yo. Chill. What are you doing? What the heck? Are you kidding me? Okay, so this Overraptor, when I came back, was fighting a Dillo. It just ran all the way from the base back to attack the Dillo again. This thing wants all the smoke. What? What? <laughs> Bro, chill. No, 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 no. No, you fu- no, 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 no. What is happening? Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go kill that Dillo. <laughs> what? <the heck>? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, bro. Look, I got your back. Let's just go kill the Dillo, okay? This clearly means a lot to you. There. Okay. Can you come with us now? Are, are we good? Okay. <laughs> he just really wanted the smoke. What the? Yo, that was wild. I've never seen nothing like that. Let's close the store. No. And okay. Over after you're causing me problems now. And you just stay over here. Thank you. Much appreciated. So you might be asking, New, why are you carrying a horse? Look, I didn't want the horse, okay? I just wanted to get the horse to safety. Because he was around like nine raptors in a rex. Hopefully we've done that. I feel like we've done that. Good luck, Mr. Horse. All right, so we have flown all the way back to the old base. Uh, decided to go ahead and load up a bit with some of these stuff. Uh, RJ is kind of heavy. We may drop some stone. Mm, drop the wood. Get that easier than the stone. Uh, I don't think we need the pelt. Drop some more stone. Drop some more stone. Uh, RG is still heavy. RIP stone. Um, and then I did... I've got the Iguanodon, but it was only a female. Uh, it was not a male, so we still need one of those. However, we're gonna go ahead and take Private Dillo back with us on the way. Private Dillo, you're coming with us. After we rescued you like we did, yeah. And we'll move some of the other key dinos over as time progresses. Like, we need to get Sky over here. We need to get Katana. The Private Dillo's gonna go first. All right, we are back. Private Dillo, I'm gonna go ahead and drop you off right here. There you go, bud. Okay, so I've been seeing this weird, I don't know, like a glitch or something. 
over here. Like there's a flyer trapped in the I don't know, it's so weird. Um It was like right over here where we saw it. I don't know what it was though, was it maybe maybe there's this tropio. Wait, what the hell is that? Um wait, what is that? Wait, no, wait, what no, wait, move. I don't know what that is. No no no. Run. Wait, hold on. Yo, what is happening over here? What the heck is that, dude? Yo, how do I tame that? That thing looks sick. Can you tame it? Okay, I don't know what that is, but I want it. What's it called? Re... Rhino Natha, maybe? Rhino Natha? I don't know. I don't know what that is, but I want it. I want it 110%. Okay, let's move over here because it's like, it's shooting friggin' shooting friggin' missiles at things. But like, we're gonna figure out how to get that. 1,000%. 1,000%. Also, Meliguanodon, you're coming home soon. Let's go. After three hours of searching, you're coming home. <sighs> okay. Uh, okay, so the big scary thing is getting dangerously close to m m my guy over here. Uh, I really hope I don't have to kill that. I'd love to tame it, but, um... I'm not giving up this. I refuse to give this male iguanodon up, dude. It's not happening. So, uh, stay in your lane, buddy. Just stay over there. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, just stay over there, please. That's all I'm asking. Oh, he just ate again, I think. Oh, no. I don't know. Oh, please. Just, please don't come this way. All right, so it's been a bit after we got the mail back home and we've gone ahead and built a little I don't know what to call it an egg tower a poop shoot. I don't know <laughs> uh, We've got a over raptor here and a nice little pen. I don't like loading them down I just build him a little pen let him you know wander around. He's collecting us some eggs we Went ahead and moved the rexes over here just so we can start getting some of those collected We've got our RGs up there. And then if you come in here, we've got the dodos. We've got the raptors. And then we've got the iguanodons up top. And anytime they have to poop or lay an egg, it just comes fall it just falls down through. You know, maybe at some point I'll build this a bit higher up and we can add the RGs to it as well. Um, I kind of like the RGs on top of the roof, though. Let's see. Other than that, we've only got one more thing left to do before we've got the kibble production online. And that's going to be to get our actual farm put together. I don't think that'll take us too long to do tomorrow, but today we are out of time. So, with that being said... Thank you all for stopping by. I very much appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications for future videos. Go ahead and throw me a like for the dance moves because you know, you know they're great. <laughs> Down in the description, you'll find my other socials, TikTok, Discord, Twitter, all that fun stuff. And without further ado, thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.